Here's my next project that I'm going to do. This is also for my brother and sister-in-law. It's just a little TV cabinet or a component cabinet, not a TV. Uh, the TV is wall mounted on a, um, you know, a, 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 an arm, I guess, so that they can turn it. In, it's in the corner. But underneath it, they want to keep these components and um, DVD player, uh, even a, an old VHS player, uh, game system, and I don't recall what the fourth one was here. Hang on. DVD, V. Oh, the uh, cable box. Yeah. So um, it's going to be basically, uh, you know, a 45 degree cuts or a, or a 90 degree wedge, I guess, that's going to fit into the corner. But I'm leaving this back open here uh, a few inches so that the, the, it creates a, its own cable run, basically. So in the back, you'll see that. You know, I have these holes that will allow the cables to come out and go up to the TV or to power, you know, whatever. Well, you need both. So uh, they can mount a power strip on the back here or whatever they need to do. So there'll be plenty of room. There'll be a, a, a pocket created back there, basically. And um, I need uh, five of these shelves and then the two sides and the back. But pretty simple construction. And what I'm going to make it out of is uh, sitting out in my garage right now. It came out of um, their daughter's and son-in-law's house. It's, uh, I believe it's Douglas fir, but I'll find out when I cut into it. <laughs> These panels that I have used to be a part of their closet and I have three of them, and they measure 35 by uh, 77, and they're a full uh, 7 eighths thick. So I'm going to take and rip them into eight and a half inch boards because they do have a, quite a bit of cup to them. I think it's going to be beautiful looking wood. Well, here's uh, here's my problem again. They got a pretty good a bow to them. These are the these two came out of the same half section. If I put them back to back. Now you can really really shows what happens down there at the other end. Probably uh, three inches apart. Tight down at this end and three inches apart. They, they have a little bit of cup in them as well. So I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about that just yet. I'm going to run these through my planer as they are. See what I can come up with as far as uh, uh, grain uh, you know the what the way the grain looks, and then um, I may just have to cut these into smaller pieces and glue them into uh, like a laminated board, you know, with different sections to get it to to lay down. Yeah, so right now I'm at uh, 8200, so 
you know, uh, whatever, 70 thousandths more uh, thicker than three quarters. So we're in good shape that way. All right, here's what I need to do. This is uh, a scaled uh, printout of one of the shelves. I need five of them. So the longest point uh, is 38.1875, some, you know, whatever. I'm going to call it 39 inches, 40 inches. So I need five boards that long. Then I need five boards uh, approximately 33 and a half inches long at the wide point there. Then down to 24 and then down to 16 and a half. So I want to find, uh, you know, the shorter you go, the, the less critical it is for the the bow in the board because as you shorten the board that's going to be that's going to disappear so i want to find uh two boards or three boards i should say that i can get these long boards out of that are going to be relatively straight i've got one over there that's that's a good candidate then i'll rip them in half and get uh about four and a quarter, four and three eighths, whatever width board that ends up being. And then, uh, you know, just going on down the line till I get till I get my width of 16 and a quarter, approximately. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort through these boards, find those sections that I can get the long, longest portions out of, and, and start from there. And then, okay, out of this, I've gotta get five shelves. And um, their surface plane on both sides to just a bit over three quarter, I believe. Hang yeah, on. they're about twenty thousandths over three quarters, so that gives me uh, something I can sand. But anyway, that, that that's that's either here or there. They're they're all uniform thickness, but I did want to stay um, three quarter or better, which I did. So uh, what I did was, uh, after uh, planing both sides, I jointed one edge, and then I wasn't really concerned about them being parallel at this point. I just want, I wanted straight and uh, um, a good glue joint. So this was the side toward the fence, then the opposite side went toward the fence. And so when I glue this up, it'll be, you know, X up, X down type thing, like that. Now here's the other thing we need to be concerned about, is that when I make this 45 degree cut here, uh, this board measures 40 inches long. Uh, pretty sure that's what it is. 41. So I've got room, but I've got to make sure that these joints if I come off of this corner, all land within this cut. And when I go to the other side here, I'm well within that here by about three quarters of an inch. Here by about the same. So that's that's where I want to be. So I'll make I'll make uh, witness marks out here. Probably put four. Four dominoes to hold this one together, three for that, and two for this one. So I just got to make sure I get, uh, and make sure that when I put these dominoes in, they won't show up on the cut line. Well, those went together really nicely, so I'll give this probably another, uh, probably an hour I suppose, and I can come down here and uh, get that glue before it gets too set up and get it, get it scraped off of there. 